All right, guys. Here I go. Another video recap for today, May the 12th, Wednesday. It was a beautiful day in the markets today, guys. Very nice drop over one, I think almost 2% in the markets. Uh, last time I checked was 1.3, 1.4% 1 in the markets. So how did we do this morning? E-mini. So as we begin the day, uh, for our members, premium members on our Discord server, I posted the following right before the market opened uh, this morning, right around 9 a.m. Eastern time. To look for the following, any move above the, uh, above the 41.20, the move was to go for those 41.27 and up. Some of you guys were able, some of my guys in the room were able to go from the 16 as we opened the market this morning to the 27. Um, we did a couple of trades early on myself from the 4104 to that 4115, I believe, overnight uh, uh, coming into the opening in this morning. But what was important as we were opening the room and going live on YouTube was the fact that I gave you multiple trades if you were to see the move in the markets below that 4110 number. The moment we break this 4110, guys, it was game over for the bulls. What did my guys do? Well, short the market, multiple guys. Even a friend of mine who is from uh, uh, the UK, he was able to capture pretty nice, really nice trading below 4100, target 4104, all the way to 4065. Well, what do you know? You drop 41.10, and where do you head? All the way down to 40.65. I mean, we even went lower than that. We printed 40.50 at one point, I think 52 and change. You see the low of the day for the E-mini. It was such a beautiful day, amazing day. I don't need to talk to you guys about p &L, but it was a beautiful day in the markets for me personally. So you guys saw me trading live uh, during the YouTube power hour, and I continue to trade live throughout the day with my guys in the room on Discord. So I talk as we were leaving, I think we were right um, having two distributions in the market. And at the end, the day gave us four distributions in the markets. You can see there is one distribution, number two, number three, and the fourth distribution that happened most of the afternoon. Crazy day, I mean, we left tons of things to repairs. We left singles at 41.10 when we drop. Then we left singles at 41.04, and ultimately we left these singles all the way from 40.90 to 40.84. Now, we did repair some of those, uh, I believe. Uh, let me add this up, let me fix this up. I believe the singles to be repaired are m about a point now. Uh, less than three ticks, maybe. These are the only singles left around uh, three ticks, about a point and a point, five ticks, point and one more tick. So you have four distribution regardless. But what was important, and I talked about it when we were live in the room, was about the bigger picture. I mean, why, why is it that I was targeting those numbers dropping below the 4110? What was the reason behind every single level? And I explained it early on on our power hour. I will try to give you an explanation here. I've been talking about that three-day balance for quite a while. We've been talking about the spike as well for, for a little bit of time, about since last, last week. Uh, I've been talking about this spike from April uh, the 9th on the market profile. But the most important thing, something that I've been nailing uh, my members, is the fact that these three days at the beginning of April was everything. That inventory was everything that gave us the move all the way to 42.38 for the S&P 500. Below that, we have a gap. Don't forget, we have a gap and we have also a small gap from April the 1st. This gap goes all the way to 39.82, I believe. I have, to, I have to look at the number. But if you look, uh, look at this. Uh, give me one second. 
Let me see if I can add those for you quickly. There it is, 3986, 3984. So you can see the gap numbers that I am displaying to you for today. We have a gap right on the 3984.86, but the biggest gap is this one, 4014. All the way to 4014, there is another gap. One of the uh, members who came to our YouTube live yesterday, uh, he was asking about these other gaps and when are those going to get repaired. Well, with the flush that we got today, uh, we might have a good potential of cleaning them up next week. So uh, again, why am I going back to this three-day balance and why has been really important for the people in my group to pay attention and to have it marked on their uh, charts. As I zoom in into the market, I want you to remember those two numbers, 40, 000, I mean 4,060 and 4,050. Right here, these singles are from the same day, April the 5th. These are April the 5th, okay? And what happened was April the 5th, April 7th, April the 9th, we did create it, this balance, this three-day balance, and then we broke completely, and that gave us the move back to 4238. As we are going into tomorrow, it's important for you to know where are these numbers coming from and what to do once you see them in your uh, trading day, how to react to the market generated information that we have uh, in, in the market profile. So this morning, as we were dropping below the 4088, uh, I took a couple of trades. As a matter of fact, everything is recorded here. Right after I closed the YouTube live, we went to the, here. I went back to my guys right after that, and they saw me taking multiple trades from 4090 to 4100. And then after the fact, took a trade long on my oil. I was waiting for 4080, 4070, 4060 for me to go long in the market. So once I hit 4070, I take my trade, went long, exited at 480, and collected 10 handles on that move, right? I left one runner on. Then I told my guys in the Discord, there you have it. I told you, drop below this 4100 and my composite volume, we were looking for those LVNs, uh, high HVN, excuse me, high volume nodes on our volume uh, composite uh, chart. So as we came over uh, into the end of the day, right around the noon, I gave guys multiple targets when we were going long those 70 back to the 86. Some guys got the money and I think we printed 86 on that. And throughout the day, gave you multiple entries. So we, as we were closing the room, I posted a couple of videos and I gave them guys a bunch of other entries to look for. But going into the close, there was the 4100. I gave you my, uh, the book map for them to see. And here was the 4065 again, all right? So what did the market do? Close at the lows of the day. I mean, we literally closed right at 40, 50, uh, 40, 56. That's the close for the day. But look how nicely we clean these uh, singles from April the 5th. We cleaned them completely, right? We went through this balance area, which is 40, 59, 40, 72. Well, what do you know? Look at what we are doing so far during the Globex. We are finding value, excuse me, we are accepting the price so far right inside this three-day balance from the first week of April. So nothing is more important than you developing a sense of what changes in the market, when the market changes and what to do, how to attack it. Now that we know the nuances of the market, we know that we have multiple repairs to do all the way to the 4100. As a matter of fact, I am long multiple lots, a core position right around 4063, 4062.50. On the E-mini, as I'm going 
uh, into Friday. So that's a core position. I might hold it actually all the way to 4150 and collect a couple of $20,000 on that move. But as I see it so far, though, so far tonight, what to expect out of the market tomorrow? It will be extremely important for us to hold on to this low of the day, and we might come and test it tomorrow morning, all right? So pay attention to this 4050, or even, uh, I don't know if this overnight uh, low will hold, but so far the overnight low is 4053. Uh, so tomorrow morning as we come into the room, we will get a better sense of what the market will do. But what will be super and super important is whether or not we will drop below these singles number from April 5th. So look for the 4,050 tomorrow to hold and see if the bulls can give us back 4,100. If not, any drop below that, we have a lot of empty space all the way to 4,014. So remember this number and mark it all the way to 4,014. We have plenty of space. Below the 4,014, then you have the 3,980, all right? So that will take more supply to come into the market for us to see these two numbers for the E-mini. I would like for some volume. Uh, I think actually the volume for today wasn't that bad after we close uh, the, the market. Right at the close, I think I, I was looking at the volume and uh, let me see. So compared to yesterday, it was pretty close. You can see it right here, right? Compared to yesterday, this was not bad. I mean, at the beginning in the morning, I told you just wait, wait, wait for volume to pick up for you to start trading. Those who listen to me, they were able to pick up tons of money all the way down into the close. Look, 3% compared to yesterday, it wasn't that bad after all. So we'll see what's going to be happening tomorrow morning. As we come into the close uh, tonight, uh, you see this 4,056 being the previous day settle. So tomorrow morning, if we test 4,156 and this hold, or if you see 4,050 holding and we start seeing volume, look for the number to go back up to the 4,100 and start repairing those singles. Look at the singles, 4,090. Uh, let me see the orders on the book map currently. There you have them, right? In black and white, you do have 40,090 singles, I mean orders, excuse me, right on the order book, right around the level of 4,090. Uh, and then to the downside, look at the support, look at the amount of uh, demand that we have. If you look at the demand, that is the demand right at 4,050. So that's why I'm telling you, look for a potential test of this move tomorrow morning. See if we're going to get those 4,050 again. I'll be looking to add to my trade if that were to happen. Looking at the bigger picture uh, on the E-mini, right below the 4,050. A couple of things that I saw this morning was, uh, oh, excuse me, let me move this a little bit more and get the whole set on the book is 4,040. So this is, is grabbing my attention right below 4,050. Now we have this thick support on 4,040, 4,040. That means if we drop tomorrow, look where we are heading, right to the top of the gap. Right, this is the top of the gap of April 1st, right around 4040. So that's what I have on the E mini uh, to the top. Again, look for the 4090. If we open a strong tomorrow morning, we don't know anything how this uh, overnight range will be. But any pullback to these 50s, be cautious. If you're taking long or shorts, be cautious about it. I would really like to see the market repair at least these singles back to the 4,100 and then roll over all the way to whatever the market decides to do. I would like to get this test of the 4,100. That 4,100 is extremely important because 
that has been the spike since April 9 that has been holding the market right over the whole month of April. So that spike held the market and gave us 4,238. All right, guys, so that's what I have for the E-mini. Let's go back to oil now. Those of you who follow my trade on oil this morning, kudos to you guys. Right off that 66 long, I got out all the way at 66.40, collected about 400 bucks, two lots, $800. I posted in the room as I went long, 66. Let me show you right here, long, 65.92 looking for 6650 take my money right put my money where my mouth is now what to expect coming in tonight looking beautiful so far they are trying to uh, they are trying to pull back into this 65 and actually they just gave us a uh, globex 6542 on oil so as we come tomorrow into the market guys this will be i'm placing my order this will be a great opportunity if we can hold this stop, which is the 6542. It appears that they are going to hold this, but if they don't, look for the 65 to start placing your bets long for oil and take it back to the 66 number. All week long, I'd be, I have been buying this 64, 64 long, 64 long on oil, back to the 65. Let's see if we're going to get this 64 number again. But I'm, I'll be happy looking long at 65 and maybe adding one more lot if I see the 64 uh, have a nice core position to take it back to 66 number on oil. So that's what I have for you guys. We did repair. Uh, this morning, we opened with a small gap. We did not close it during the regular trading hours. You can see the, the small gap here, right? How we open. And uh, it's pretty small, but I will have it here. Let's see if tomorrow we're going to reverse it uh, for oil. And maybe, let me increase this to uh, 19th so I can see it clearly. There you have it. And uh, let me display this at number one so that I know that this is a gap. The singles that we left back on Wednesday last week, now they have been repaired, right? This was one of the expectations that we had on oil and we got it completely. So now all we have is this small gap. It would be nice guys if tomorrow you guys can see these 65 on oil to start taking our long trades back to 66. I will be definitely looking for this number on oil to take me back to those 66.70 and collect about a $1.30, $1.50 uh, for this trade. So that's what I got for you guys. Please don't forget, if you like what you've seen in these videos, please go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to click the little notification bell. You get notifications every time I go live on the markets. Talking about being live in the markets, every day at 11 a.m., I will be going live on YouTube for me to give you insights about what's going on on both, not only the crude oil, but also the e-mini. So remember, eslive8.com, we are live on YouTube at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. If you would like more information, come to eslive8.com to look at our services or join our Discord at eslive8.chat, that is eslive8.chat. Thank you guys for watching the video. I will be seeing you guys tomorrow morning. Take care. See you in the trading room, guys. God bless.